Hello, TCIS community. My name is Mimi, and it's a pleasure to be your anchor for today's WTV. Let's get started with the latest announcements and happenings. The Elementary Student Council is hosting a book drive from March 25th to 29th, meaning you have two days left to bring books. Now, these books should be in good condition since they will be donated to the Wat Bang Kui Yai School. You can drop these books in the book drive boxes, which will be located at each division building. We highly appreciate your cooperation and spreading joy to others in need. For middle school students, the dance is scheduled on March 29th at the second floor gym to 4 to 6 p.m. So don't miss out and get your tickets in front of the high school office during lunch. For high school students, we hope you're doing well during these times with AP mock exams. We hope you all are well rested and eating a healthy breakfast. There's only a few days left of exams. Now, let's go to Boda with the TOEFL testing and how it's like. Okay,华语测验呢,就是台湾针对外国人学中文或是在海外学中文的那些台湾人啊,中国人做的一个测验题目。对在外的华侨或是第二语言学习者就是把中文当作他第二语言学习的人对他是针对这样子的人群做的一个测验题那么老师认为这个考试是否是对一个大学的一个标准的硬性条件是意思啊就是比如说台湾的某些大学可能会
，不论是单题的选择题，或是这种短篇的啊、呃，比如说两三个题目的这种稍微中长篇阅读的型呃类型的题目这样子。那听力测验是完全不需要准备的，因为他们是母语的孩子，所以在听力测验上，我是完全就是平常我们都是用中文上课的，这就是一步一步练习起来。你是是怎么想到这样一种方式，就是说不让孩子们回到家里去带着几次音，就是一起去放什么音？嗯啊，其实到回回家去让小孩自己去练习也是可以的，但是这个呢，可能就是需要一些比较强迫性，或是说学生可能要动机比较强的两种情况下才能够实行，或是说，嗯，他们在教室的时候，我也可以观察他们回答的状况，是比较知道，哎，其实这些问题他们应该大概是可以的。那我们下一次在帮他们练习的时候，我可以。进进到下一个阶段比较难一点问题，那或是我们、嗯、在练习的时候，他们在哪个部分有难点，那我可以啊、嗯、再针对难点去帮他们多做一些复习。Here is what I get about Chinese TOEFL. I'm bored. Report for WTV. Sign out. Hmm, very interesting. I hope you all are well prepared for the test. Now onto Ivo with a special spotlight on the cafe right outside of school. Hi, and we're at the Blue Sky Cafe, where it's near our school, and the students come here after school to enjoy the views. What do you think of Blue Sky Cafe? I personally think Blue Sky Cafe is like a place where students can rejoin after school. It's also like a place where students can hang out and feel like they're out of school, but also still around the school area. Blue Sky Cafe is a really nice place. Like me and my friends go hang out there and talk about secrets all the time. It's a really nice place, and the drinks there are yummy. And better than the school and cheaper.、Uh, what do you think about the worker? So as for the worker, I think she's very kind, and also she offers us like a lot of free water if we ask for it. So that's pretty nice. And she's also very lenient towards like the payments. So if you like forget to pay, she doesn't really care until like you know like a week after she would come talk to you about it. I like the coffee there and also the day over there. She's so nice and kind. Well, she's a really nice person. She keeps giving extra, extra things that we didn't ask for for sheep. We really like her, and she always talk about our secrets with us.、Uh, what do you like about the cafe? What I like about the cafe is honestly the people that come here every afternoon.、Uh, it's just really nice to talk to people. Uh, found it. Two weeks. Ah, two weeks. Uh, open the cafe. Come here. แปดปีแล้วค่ะตกการกับเอ่อนักเรียนที่นี่ที่มาคาเฟ่บ่อยๆก็เป็นไงบ้างก็สนุกดีค่ะเด็กๆน่ารักอืมขอบคุณค่
some of the middle school grades as well. If we get up here, we can see that there are many lightings here. Yeah. And on the very top here, we can see two ball lights. We call them ball lights because, for me, I call them ball lights because they can spin 360 degree in a ball light position. Oh, so that's why it's called a 360. Yes. And here is the speakers for the 360 stage. Behind us is, of course, the projector. And if you look on the top, you can see more lightings here and more lightings. Behind here is the storage area that are commonly used for 360. As you can see, it's, a, it's still a storage area for people to store stuff for 360. So Owen, tell me about the control room. Uh, the control room is the controlling area which allows us to change everything in 360. Here we can see that as this allows us to control the stage light for the 360. And here is the power box that we use in order to turn off the lighting for the stage. And for this one, we, we have to turn this on from the bottom to top in order to activate all these instruments. We have two monitors here and one giant controller and lighting controller. So this is our lighting for the stage light here. The stage light allows us to control everything I just said previously from the lighting on the stage to the ball light. The ball, the, we, for fixtures, we use fixture 1 to fixture 7. Fixtures is basically the default lighting positions. So if we turn it up, for if we want white light, we have to go to fixture 5, and then we turn on these knobs. And behind us, behind you, will be a white light for the station. And we can continue with many more, but we will be focusing on the ball light now because there's too much to go into. Now, as you can see for the ball lights, we 1, 17, and 2, and 18 allows us to control the movement left, right, up, down. Thank you, Owen. That was the end of the 360 tour. And I'm Jaden from WTV, signing off. Thank you, Jaden, for giving our viewers an informative segment on the 360. It really has some special features I never knew about. And that's it for today's episode. If you ever want any announcements announced on WTV, please scan the QR code here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mimi, signing out.